hey guys mikey here welcome or welcome back to my channel so we concluded the data visualization basics in our tutorial series yesterday and so this month we will be just looking at uh, miscellaneous things so for now uh today's topic is on how to group by mean or some more similar statistical measures and for that you'll be using the aggregate function so for that let's create a sample uh, data frame so this looks something like this with four columns on trees location height and standard deviation so uh, now I'll just show you like a sample bar plot made from this so that you get an idea so we have here location and we have two kinds of trees and we are plotting height on the y-axis so let's say we want to aggregate these based on I mean like group the height based on the types of trees for that we can use the aggregate function so I think this is one of the most useful function in R and here we just need to mention what is the variable we have to uh, group so don't get confused by x here uh, it's it's not about x-axis so in this case we are telling that we want to group our variable height and we also need to list what is the variable we want it to be grouped by so the grouping variable is trees so we'll be grouping the height based on whether it's mangrove or neem and then we can mention what kind of statistical parameter we want to use so for now let's try to group the height based on mean so if you run this so we get the results and here we have the groups which are mangroves and neem and this is the mean height of the group we can actually change the column names to make it appear more attractive so instead of x we can have something like height so that it's informative and if you run this again you can see that it's changed to height so that is very useful and like i had mentioned instead of mean we can have something like let's say sum and also instead of trees we can maybe group it by a location so it will be grouping it based on three types of location here so if you run this code again we see that there are three different groups and here instead of the mean they get the sum of the values so well that's all for now i hope you guys found this video helpful please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you are looking into more data analysis or data visualization videos in r i'll see you tomorrow ciao